Welcome, everybody, to episode 29 of Meet with Cheese Metaverse Interviews. I'm your host, LaDrop with Cheese, coming to you, as always, from the Metaverse. Today, I have a very amazing and fun guest for you. Uh, he's a political artist for the people, and he's also a sensitive artist. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Moco. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Why am I here, LaDrop? I forget. What's, why are we here? <laughs> so you're interviewing on my show it's people and projects you need to know about well you need to know about this that's for sure i know that all right so how did we meet again there was this time there was this party there was this yacht remember it was snoop dogg's yacht the drop <laughs> remember it was snoop dogg's yacht i vaguely remember but yeah i remember meeting you for sure yes i, remember, I promise you i remember there was Justin Bieber was there, Eminem was there, Snoop Dogg was there, Holly Beebe was there. They were all there. And I was looking around the yacht and they were drinking, they were smoking, they were tooting, they were doing it all, but nobody was having a good time. Nobody. And I looked around the yacht and I say, hey, Snoop Dogg, don't they look, no, they look like a bunch of bored apes on the yacht, bored apes. And he goes, eh, what do you mean, man? And I said, no, Snoop Dogg, they look like bored apes. Let me show you, Snoop Dogg. I took out my magic marker. I took out my pencils. I made him a, a bored ape. I said, they showed it to Snoop Dogg. He says, hey, man, that's a really stupid idea. He rolls it up. He takes the marijuana. He starts passing around his spleef. You know what? I came up with the Bored Ape Yacht Club. It was me. Moko, the political artist, it was me. Do I get anything from it? Do I get one red cent? Do I get invited back to the yacht? Have you been invited back to the yacht, the drop? I've been back to the yacht. So I came up with something else. Maybe it will sell. So what else you want to talk about? Yeah, let's talk about your background and how you ended up into this NFT world. Well, I told you I was on the yacht and there I came up with the whole, the whole thing and I got nothing for it. So I figured, well, I got to make something. And who's the biggest story in the world? Politics. Politics is the biggest story in the world. I say I can make a buck on that. So I made NFTs based on these very highly controversial political figures. Trump, Biden, Hunter. I have a picture of Bernie Sanders dancing, throwing money out like the inflation. I have done this. And needless to say, I want to make a buck on it. And that's it. Welcome to the Mokoverse. That's it. I could do it. Oh, I could keep going with this forever. But they got to buy it the drop they gotta buy it and if they don't buy it i'll be back to picking up cans on the street which is lame so talk to me what else we got to talk about why am i talking to you again the drop bring it home bring it home to me come on yeah i want to hear more about the art because you know there is nobody safe in your art collection you like it doesn't matter if you're a democrat republican independent you know, you just take them all down and exploit them in a very comical cartoon like way. So what are some of your favorite ones that you've made? You know, the way I figure about it, it'll drop. Most of your politicians are for sale. Why can't I make a buck on it? That's what I'm thinking. So eh, this is we get the democracy we deserve. I feel that way. And hey, if Trump get 80 million votes, if Biden gets more or less, I don't care. There's always cans to pick up for me. I don't care. So, but I figured the NFT is an interesting way to approach it all. The way I see it is NFTs are big in the game space, very big in the game space, gaming. Well, goodness, politics is the biggest game in town. What bigger game is that? Furthermore, we have this idea of game theory. Now, the drop. Do you actually know what game theory is? I'd love to hear your version of what it is. I'll tell you exactly what it is. How do I get as much as I can with as little work as possible? Think of the bear in the forest. 
He don't chase the rabbit. He looks for a dead bear to eat if he can, because that's where he's going to get his calories. That's game theory. So, and politics is the biggest game of all. How do you think a guy like Biden could make it so far? He does so little, and yet he gets so much. It works for him. Hunter, well, goodness, his dad was vice president of the United States. So he made lots of friends. And as for Trump, well, he saw the whole thing in the wrestling ring of America. There he was, the people buying tickets, long, chaotic storylines. And he keeps it going. This is America, my friends. And yeah, I, want you to, I want you to be part of it, people. So. Yeah. yeah, so also you have, you just recently minted all of your NFTs on OpenSea in different quantities and pricing. And on November 8th, election day, you have a big event in Long Island, New York. Tell us a little bit about this event. President Trump is showing up to raffle my NFTs with you, La Drop, on November 8th. He'll be there. There'll be national outreach. And right there, on election day, President Trump will be with me, Moko. And of course, I'm gonna share it with him because he always wants to make a buck too. You know, Trump steaks, Trump college, Trump flights, Trump vodka, Trump wine. Yo, why not? Trump with Moco, why not? Trump NFTs, why not? His dear wife is involved too, she'll be there. You buy a couple of NFTs, me and Trump will hang out, you get to hang out with Melania. How's that for utility? <laughs> that sounds like quite an extravagant party. Oh, um, it's gonna be slamming, baby. Better than what... the <laughs> But one of the cool things about what I like you're doing with your collection is you're, raff, you're doing a raffle with, there's 500 tokens for, and they're called Trump the First, and it's available on MoCo's OpenSea page. And they're only 0 0.005 ETH, and it works as like a raffle ticket for only six bucks approximately. You can win a raffle of a one of one Hunter Made His Bed NFT created by moco and that will be live streamed at your event on november 8th with trump la drop with cheese we'll be running the raffle and announcing the winners so go ahead over to moco's open c the link will be at the bottom of this and moco, go three, buy, six, buy a raffle ticket moco 368 and you know what it's going to be the best six dollars you ever spent believe me and again a date with Melania. How can you pass that up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're also going to be uh, in a virtual event, too, running around in the metaverse and spatial later this month, uh, kind of a maze tournament. So you looking forward to run around in spatial? Well, as they say in the street, the only one who wins the rat race is the rat. But I'll do the best I can. <laughs> you got to find the cheese. In the, in the race, my friend, it's all about the rat race. Yes, but that'll be an exciting event. One of my friends, Amy Lewis, uh, designed a maze and a whole competition program for artists like yourself, Moco, to compete against each other. Moco, you, there is only one Moco. There is no artist like myself. I promise you that. I am an individual. That's why I'm going to make it. How are we going to do? We're all going to make it, right? Wag. Make it. You know why? Because that's why. All right, continue on. Yeah, so she created this amazing maze. There's places for people to spectate and interact. Your art will be prominently displayed in the gallery. It's just going to be a really cool virtual event, so, like a first of its kind. So I'm can excited. I you can I cheat? Can I tackle the opposition? Can I do anything that it takes to win? You can do anything it takes to win. Yes. Are you saying there's no rules in the maze? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you want to pay off Amy Lewis to say you're the winner. No, 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 no. There are no rules in the maze. We just say that. All right. Okay. I like this game. <laughs> I like it more and more. All right. So tell me, what else is going on, the drop? 
I, I've been busy, man. I'm like trying to get a TV show or a movie deal for 12 of us are staying in a house in Miami and November 27th through December 3rd, we're going to all these events. I'm her hosting an, an immersive networking pool party. We're trying to get all these celebrities there. I had a great idea about a pool party. I call it Hollywood pool party. All the girls and they're trying to find a producer, but only one of the guys is actually a real producer. All the rest of them are malakas pretending to be producers. I think it could be an outstanding show. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, that would be a really good. It's kind of like you're searching for the needle in the haystack, kind of. I, most yeah, of them are speakers. We should incorporate that into our show that we're trying to get to. I think it could work. The pathos, the, 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 the disappointment. And then maybe, maybe she finds the man who will set her up for life. Wow. Yeah, for sure. That could be like the next great romance and competitive dating show. Just there. try to find a man who has all the money who can set her up forever with her career. I think it could be huge. All the rest of them, lockers, garbage men, whatever. <laughs> yeah, and they think they're all producers. They know <laughs> what they are. They know what they are. But they don't. Uh, they're not going to tell the beautiful young women what they are. No, no, no. Ah, yeah. Hollywood. Hollywood. The drop. We belong in Hollywood. You and I. Yeah. Again, on the yacht. Uh, on, you know, doing this kind of stuff. We should have our own podcast too, Moko. I mean, I love your energy on on camera. You're entertaining, um, but a question about politics, not who you care about, but do you have a vision or an idea of who is going to win the next U.S. presidential election? Whoever cheats the most. <laughs> I, I can't disagree with you on that one. I think, yeah, I think uh, that's, that's, that's your competitive advantage in our system. Whoever cheats the most. Yeah, I agree. What about cryptocurrency? How do you feel about cryptocurrency and economies? Well, since you asked, I think it really speaks to our times. Uh, 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 it's, 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 it's imagination. It's, 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 it's theater. It's art. And if someone says it's valuable, it's valuable. That's what I think. It's 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 art. It's it's the mystery. It's stardust. But if somebody's willing to pay a million and a half dollars for a weird a uh, board ape yacht club in a gold lame with with laser beams shooting out of their eyes, somebody's more than happy to take the money in crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum whatever it is. So I, I really think it speaks to our times. It's a sign of the times, LaDrop. Yes, so. it is. And it's, uh, you know, decentralized currency without a central governing body. Well, Bitcoin is. Some of these other cryptos have a central kind of governing body within them as a private company. But overall, I think it's the future. And right now we're building the foundational pillars for future generations. Well, let's so, think of it like this. The Board Ape Yacht Club is going to develop an ape coin to work in their in their metaverse. And if that's the future, I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm very impressed. <laughs> yeah, there's some big brands that accept uh, ape coin as currency. Tiffany the jewelry brand, which I'm sure, you know, you've bought a lot of Tiffany jewelry for women in the no, past. No, 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 no. They kicked me off the yacht. I didn't buy anything. They took my idea. They stole it. They made a hundred million dollars on it. I, I've got them guts. Not but I, okay. Tiffany's taking the, uh, Tiffany's taking a coin. That's the best news yeah. I heard all day. <laughs> the best news I heard all day. I'm, I'm very pleased to hear that. Thank you for sharing with drop. I really appreciate that. That's wonderful, wonderful. Tiffany has taken eight point. I think it's outstanding. I think I think Tiffany and I think Tiffany and eight point deserve each other. That's what I think. <laughs> you want to know what else you want to know? Go ahead. I'm listening. 
what is your uh you know what do you view the metaverse as and how do you see it affecting humans down the road oh the metaverse well i tell you I, I, a very brief story um i garden i'm a real gardener that's true i garden i garden i garden i have a pick i have a shovel i'm working my little nephew comes to the back sees me working what are you doing he says i have a pick i have a shovel i says wonderful i have a pick i have a shovel in roblox I says, great, would you like to try to use the real pick in the real garden, in the real backyard? And the little boy picks it up and he hits the ground with it and it kind of flops over and he picks it up and he hits the ground with it again and it flops over again. And he says, I don't wanna do this. I wanna go play Roblox. So how do I think it works? I think it's, again, it's a lot easier. Back to game theory. It's easier. It provides certain enjoyment and stimulation. Back to game theory. What's cheaper, faster, and easier for the guy who made that game? So that's what I think of it. Um, I, for yeah. one, yeah, I, for one, um, I'm in the real verse and the Moco verse. <laughs> so here we are in the Moco verse. Yeah, and I feel my reality has always been augmented in the first place. So like augmented reality for me is just another part of who I am. Well, I feel um, it's just a way to uh, get through the day uh, as you augment your reality one way or another. But here we are, and uh, I'm with you, Ladrop. So anything else? Yeah, you know, I met you at, you know, this extravagant party. And we met on the yacht, yes, we met on the yacht. And, you know, you've got to meet some people in the NFT community, you know, Web3 community. How would you describe the people in Web3? The community? Yes. Well, I tell you, I was very impressed again, back to the Board Ape Yacht Club. And who was the young woman who wanted to work on the family pictures, NFTs for the family pictures? What was her name again? Um, I'm not. Yes, you do. You remember, she's going to Florida with you. She's sharing a room, sharing a, a space in Florida with you. Oh, um, Capo? I believe so, yes. And I asked her, what about the community of the Board Ape Yacht Club? And she said it's for the existentially bored. Um, I don't think she's correct. I think it's for, uh, you know, wants and opportunism. That's what I think. But it's it's fun. And if Tiffany wants to take um, these dollars, uh, these eight dollars, why not? What's the value of a Tiffany diamond? Um, what's the value of any of it? So, in fact, in reality, it's rather valueless, except for the way it makes you feel. And, you know, we're getting into really deep existential questions right now. But how does it make, how does it make these people feel? Obviously, it makes them feel good. Well, that's good enough. It's almost like an addic addictive cycle. So I, uh, I thought the people at the NFT party were very interesting, um, very, very... Um, goal oriented they're all trying to make it happen their own individual efforts and uh that's that's wonderful um again we'll see how it all rolls out in the months and years ahead i think there will be a real role for, again my my little nephew is playing spending all his time uh digging fantasy holes in a fantasy game called roblox um that's what's happening if you had a chance to play roblox I, I, am, uh, I am an artist. Uh, what I create is real. Um, I'm not personally very good at any of these efforts with the phones, with the uh, anything. I, I don't, I'm not involved with any of it, really. So have I had a chance to play? I don't think I could turn on the machine if I tried. <laughs> the first thing that got me into Roblox, and I've only played a couple hours realistically, but I saw that Walmart had something called Walmart Land in Roblox, free to play. And there's a lot of different little areas. You can DJ, you can dance in a competition, you can paint your nails. There's a whole bunch of like interactive things, but I don't see the kids going in there and playing for hours. It's just more of a 
marketing gimmick saying, hey, Walmart's in the metaverse. And we just have one little area for people to look around. And it's, I don't know, to me, it's kind of lame. So I was just wondering if you had the chance to experience that. Yeah, it's it's not my thing, Joey. You know, I, I uh, excuse me, Ladrop. Um, um, I, I, um, I'm, I'm actually a little afraid of trying to run around the maze, uh, as you, as you, as you've mentioned. Um, I'll try. I'll try to run around the maze. Um, what was the group that we're going to try to run around the maze with again? In spatial. In spatial. So, I, I'm more than happy to try. Um, uh, we'll see how it all works. I was, you know, uh, we'll see. You know, uh, I, again, I. I'm rather clumsy. A lot of things get broken around me. So we'll see how it all goes. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. I wish you the best of luck. I think you'll do well. So we got to follow you on Twitter. Everyone watching, follow Moco368 is your Twitter handle. And that's where you have the link to your Open Sea collection. And the raffle is going to be live streamed on November 8th in Long Island. Do you want to tell people where that venue is or how can we find out where that party is? I'll send it. It's Tobacco Plaza. It's, it's cigars. And, uh, you know, there'll be guys there. It's also uh, Oktoberfest. So there'll be cigars, there'll be beer, sausages, and of course, President Trump. So uh, it's going to be a good time. Awesome. Yes. I wish I could be out there for that. And what time is that event? Eight o'clock. And then election, the numbers for election night start coming in at nine o'clock. And what time is the live stream for the raffle winner? I'm figuring it'll be about 830. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it, man. And it's been a blast talking to you. Do you want to leave us with any final thoughts? Oh, I tell you, Joe, uh, drop. thank you for putting me on. Um, I tried to stay in character as best I could, but man, you drew the reality out of me, Joe, the drop, you drew, you drew it out of me. You drew it out of me like a, like a, like a, like a, like a spear in my side. You pulled it from me. And that's the mark of a good interviewer. So, and I wish you very well with your TV show, your production in Florida. And please keep in mind, Hollywood pool party. Are you going to be in Miami? Yes. Oh, at Miami pool party. And again, there'll be 20 guys there. Only one real producer. I think it could work. <laughs> you know, I can run it by a producer and see what happens. And make sure he cuts me out. Just like what's a Snoop Dogg cut me out of the whole, uh, you know, the whole, the, the whole, uh, what do you call him again? Those, you know, the board API club. Make sure you cut me out. All right. I won't, cut you. I won't cut you out, Moco. Thank you, Ladrop. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for your time. We'll see you soon. See you next time.